Jenna Pakada, first time connections, first time connections, Jenna Pakada. Did you hear that? Whenever I hear that sound and get the first whiff of a freshly opened can of tennis balls, it takes me back to the age of 12 at my very first USTA junior tennis tournament waiting for my match to begin. When I heard them call my name, there it was, that sound of pressurized air whizzing out of the can, releasing the pungent scent. As the tournament official handed me the balls, my opponent and I were read the rules and led to our court. For those of you who aren't familiar with tennis, women's tennis matches are best out of three sets. I'm gonna blame losing that first set on nerves, but by the second set, my serve was feeling strong and I started forcing errors on my opponent, which led to a third set. At that point, I noticed that the small audience of four had grown into a crowd of over 15. Keeping that last set as close as possible, I fought and I scraped for every point. And in the end, I lost in a tiebreaker despite having a match point. Feeling disappointed and deflated, I walked up to the net and congratulated her. And as I walked off the court, a tall Asian man came up to me and asked me if I knew who that was that I just played. I told him, I think her name's Helen. He responded by saying, that's Helen Van, one of the top ranked juniors and you almost beat her. Even though I lost, that one comment lifted my spirits and I was hooked. Tennis was my game and that was just the beginning. If we think of all of the things that we love, somewhere connected to it is a first time story. In these times of social distancing, we're so desperately longing to connect with one another. Fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, have you ever thought about connecting with someone by swapping first time stories? Back in 2013, I went to Lake Tahoe with 25 friends and we all stayed together in one big house. As we were reminiscing about the first time we went to Disneyland together, a friend made a comment about first time stories. He said, Good or bad, everyone remembers a first time story. Everyone remembers a first time story? For some reason, those words really stuck with me. And on the last day of our trip, when we took one big group picture together by the lake, I posted it to Instagram, hashtag first time. Now, whenever my husband, Sean and I share a first time moment, we always point it out and we chuckle as we remember back to the time at the lake. Every once in a while, we'll test out that theory by asking someone to recall a first time experience. A couple of years ago, our friend Mar came back from the Philippines and at first he gave a regular vacation story visiting family and beaches. Then Sean asked, hey Mar, What's something you got to experience for the first time while you were there? After a long pause, all of a sudden, his eyes lit up and a huge smile appeared and his speech became animated as he started passionately recalling crazy details about an encounter he had with some strangers. Fast forward to last year when the news of the pandemic hit and we were forced to shelter in place and get creative in an attempt to stay sane in the midst of all the chaos. I started realizing that we were all experiencing first like crazy. There was the first time Zoom meeting, the first time drive-by celebration, and the first time we had a wait in line to get into the grocery store. For me, I tried skateboarding for the first time and I even built a Rube Goldberg machine. One of those chain reaction machines that started out on my kitchen island and ended up turning on the lights in my living room. Now that we're still doing our part to keep our loved ones safe by maintaining some distance, I discovered there's so much to learn about others simply by asking them to recall a first time story. Even though I've been married to Sean for 12 years and in this last year I've spent 
almost every hour of every day with him, I'm still learning about him through his stories. Just the other night, he shared with me how he first discovered his passion for playing football back in the fifth grade. And recently, I connected with my dad as we swapped first time Toastmaster stories. It's hard to fathom that worldwide, there have been over 3.3 million coronavirus deaths. And like so many of you, I lost friends and family in this past year without proper time to grieve or celebrate their lives. If there's anything, anything that this pandemic has taught us, it's that life is such a precious gift and we need to be thankful for the time that we do have and the moments that we get to spend with others whether it's the grandmother that you connect with through a video chat or the friend that you lost touch with because of political differences. I challenge you to find something that that person truly loves and then ask them for a first time story related to it. You'll know that you've struck gold when you see that spark in their eyes and the tiny details start oozing from their story. Once you've shared stories like that, you've moved way beyond the surface and can see one another at a real human level. And if you can't find a first time story to connect to, invite that person to dream up something new. Perhaps find a new first time experience to share together. As for my husband and me, swapping stories inspired me to buy us new tennis rackets so we can play together at our neighborhood park. It's not that, that competitive tennis that I remember from my younger years, but who knows, maybe there's mixed doubles in our future. Now, whenever I hear the crack of the can and get that first whiff of new tennis balls, I not only think back to my very first tournament, but to all the firsts that are yet to come. What's your next first time story and who will you share it with? Madam Toastmaster? <laughs>